Oh, Mr. Fedboo again, good luck to you. Last kill for my medium soul hunter, apparently. I hope I'm gonna complete all the mediums, though. Oh, got him. Didn't even need the GMO for that. No crate again. Cat, give me something. Throw me a bone here, game. I need money. I've been losing so much. Please pity me. I the shutter. Good luck to you. That wasn't terrifying at all. I only shit my pants a little bit. I'm gonna stay at that HP. Good fight. Bunk. Hey, oh my god, a casket. It exists. They exist. Complain to gain. Hurr. Told y'all. You complain long enough, I'm sure at some point you'll see one. <laughs> Mr. Left Nut again with the smiting range setup. Scary Terry. Gotta wait for him to drop his holy phoenix. I might die here. I'm not dead. <laughs> Yeet. Good fight. Oh, back to back caskets. The complaining really did work, huh? Interesting. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die there. I just randomly ate. And then he didn't eat right afterwards, and we got him with a little claw. Good luck, Mr. Xerxes again. Now I can't say I haven't fought him all day, because we have. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. That is your plus one. I would highly recommend you get a granite mall ornament. Oh. Yeah. Not big enough to go for a GMO on. What is this man doing? Where are you running? Don't 63 me. Ugh. Oh, oh, okay. Good fight. I was like, oh, it failed. Rip. But then the emo finishes it off again. I think this is why I'm enjoying Claw so much. It's an easy, quick weapon to follow up on. And uh, the emo is saving a lot of these failed kills. When the spec doesn't get him, little emo. Mr. Ice Chat again. It looks like he wants a rematch. Great. I'll take the risk. And Emo finishes it, finishes it off again. Another casket. Wow. How do we go from... Oh, do they even exist anymore? I haven't seen shit to three and like five kills. <laughs> Crazy how that works sometimes. Good luck, Sir Hades. I think I can probably get a new BH task after I bank again. I totally forgot about that. I like using them together with a hotspot point scroll, ca uh, hotspot point scroll, which lasts for exa exactly 15 minutes, which is the same time uh, that you can get a, use a cursed pH scroll on every time. That shit has a 15 minute cooldown, so that way every time the hotspot point scroll runs out, you know, hey, you can get a new pH uh, task now. I don't know why I'm fumbling on my words so much, my apologies, just a little tired. YOLO! Good fight that axe would have gone off, I don't know what would have happened. Leroy Jenkins over here. Pauka Nave. Paka. I had such great expectations for you when you have failed me for the last time. Fucking claw on the bench. I guess they didn't fail me for the last time because it happened again. <laughs> we'll just do a little boop. Boop on the nose with a bench. Oh, I see how it is. We don't play around with that, homie. It's a very dangerous weapon you're holding there. Take it easy there. There needs to be no... Uh... Jesus Christ, Claus! Three times? He's in cursed fucking obby. He may as well be naked. Hit for me, damn. No! A 25! How did that not kill, man? How did that not kill? It was a risky one with his axe coming in as well. Tragic. I don't know if he can hit a 77 with a Holy Corp. He is very tanky for someone in Cursed Obby. Oh, yeah, good fight. Look, he literally outlasted me. I think that says enough. Cursed Obsidian, by the way. <laughs> oh, looks like on my Dread Bow. Or skeleton Bows. I keep calling them Dread Bows. That's this piece of shit. All my skeleton bows sold, 90 bill each. If they can regularly go for that, I would say that's a W. I can definitely do dread bones more often in between uh, for a little bit of extra money on the side, because that shit is pretty good. 
Just noticed that PK had a Void Ranger helm at some point. Whenever I kill a Void Ranger, I assume he doesn't have one. Oh, it's because of that left nut guy earlier. He had his Holy Phoenix out when I killed him, meaning not the double, meaning he kept the cannon, lost his Void Helm. Of course, of course. Never even thought about that, but yeah, that's a nice bonus here as well. Our Cursed Totem sold for 525 bill. Oh, something else sold at the same time. A Cursed Mystery Grades, I'm getting, guessing? Yeah, Cursed Mystery Grades, I just put them in there. But we should have enough points again to buy another totem. And then we only need one more after that for another week cleared. Wait, when does it reset? Uh, oh, still a few days. I thought it was tomorrow. It's Sunday at the moment. I figured it would reset on Monday, but I guess late Tuesday. Um, either way, then we'll be able to get even more, of course. So let's put this one in for 5,500 instead. 550 bill. Why the fuck you not? And that leaves an additional 5.26 trill in there. And we currently have 4.7. And of course we have the Torva 10 trill and the Shade Genie 16. So also considering selling the Wonder Boots at some point. I just don't know what I want. I just don't fucking know. I really want to get the Slayer Helm. I really want to get Halos. But I also don't really want to get either of that and just keep getting money. Oh, we still have a bar pet I can sell off. Totally forgot about that. No, I'll sell it off. I think the next setup we are gonna use when we change it again, like fully change it, is going to be the Zarat crossbow. Been talking about it for so long, been wanting to do it for so long, but the opportunity for Torva Eye kind of arose itself. Like Goba mentioned he had a Shade Gene. I was like, hey, I could use that. Maybe I could find someone with Crestor or with the Torva Eye. And then uh, Nopit instantly had it and he was fine with lending it to me. So I figured, fuck it, we'll do that first. Just because we can right now, and then we'll look into the Zard crossbow afterwards. Do want to do a bit more with it though. There's still uh, two minutes of edge hotspot. <laughs> Whoa, two minutes. Man, I used to scroll ages ago and I never got the task for it. That's silly of me. Good luck, good sir. I am need a your kill for task, please. Only one kill task though, so it's not going to be the most points, but it will have to do. Scary. Good thing he had a bunch of zeros and he didn't X. That should be the kill. Good fight. A little vengeance, KO, and another task. 2.5 mil. I don't know how much we had. 6.45. Yeah, that's still a little bit off. Does that mean I can just instantly use a new scroll? No, it goes on cooldown the minute you like activate the task. That's awesome. Good luck, sir Hades. All right, Claus, you've been uh, failing me for a little while now. Let's make this fight the one where you don't. And you actually hit surprisingly well. No. 83 on the very first pack we used and we haven't seen anything close to it since. You hate to see it. No risk it, good fight. Ooh, thank you Maul for actually hitting there. Appreciate it. All right, fuck it. The edge hotspot changed to vintage. We have a new weekly waiting for us. Let's give that a try, and the last time we did it, I remember talking about a potential use of a rapier and an adventurer scroll. And you should be able to hit one hit the Yankus, or very close to. We're talking about a chaotic rapier, that's the one that's usable in there. Did he have anything else? I don't remember. I think most other items are off limits in there. But I guess we gotta use vote boost and an adventure scroll. And see if that is enough to consistently one-shot them, I guess. Can you use anglers in there? I don't know. Let's go with rock tails just to be safe. Ooh, ooh, you can just about see it in the hit predictor, but I did hit a 74 there. I did forget about the flame burst defender. That might be one strength bonus difference, maybe two, but... Oh, 73. I want to actually one-shot them though, damn it. If I have to do two hits, what's the fucking difference with the whip, you know what I'm saying? It has to be all or nothing. And I also don't know if this counts as deep wildy. I don't think it mentions anywhere, it just says the skull PvP. Because otherwise, if it does count, you could use a deep wildy book for 10% more damage in the deep wilderness. Wait, what pet is this? Uh, we're using the imp pet. I think that gives like more vintage tokens or something, right? Info. Oh, what? Why aren't they showing me what the fuck they do? Okay, whatever. Never mind. Oh, I did just one shot at a 75, but that's so on the nose. It's a 75 exactly. 
I'm gonna go grab a Flame Burst Defender for the accuracy and strength bonus. And then maybe try like a Berserker Ring Eye. That's like an additional 8 strength. Can't you use like a Torture in here? I feel like you should be able to use a Torture in here. Talk to. Which items are allowed? It's gonna be a blank list. You have to look for everything. Oh, these are the items that are allowed in there. Less Ceratomin Sword. Oh, it's actually less strength bonus than a Chaotic Rapier. Okay. PvP items, Flame Burst Defender. Oh, most of the boots. Amulet of Fury Ornament. Two strength bonus. Zerkering Eye, like I said. Karasi is permitted, but that doesn't really help anything. <laughs> Low HP DHing wouldn't be very safe. People can just one shot you casually. Walls and stuff, this is all kind of trashy. Staff of Lights, they don't have that much strength bonus. Oh, you can use gloves in here. You can use like live gloves. That's one strength bonus. Okay, so it's not too many options, but let's grab everything we can to max it out to the most possible. Goliath gloves, like literally any pair, and then a flame burst defender. See, if this means my max it becomes like 77, 78 ish, that means we'll see a lot more one shots than we currently are, and that would be great. Well, okay, we have plenty. Go with the untradeable for now. This should be pretty decent. Oh yeah, and the blood fury, or not blood fury, but fury ornament. Do we have one of those? Yes, we do. We'll take whatever we can, man. Let's see if this helps. Oh, there we go, 77. So yeah, now we are capable of one-shotting them a little bit easier. Saw 78 earlier, but I didn't get that one on video. 74. This feels pretty nice, and I know it's, you know, it does use an adventure scroll to be fair, but you make a couple hundred bill off this daily and just doing it slightly quicker, why the fuck not, right? Kinda nice. It is, oh, 78 right there. It is quite a bit faster than the whip, I can't even lie, look at that, boop, one shot, boop, one shot. Very nice. Alright, 40 minutes later and we are fully completed with the weekly. Get out of here. Took a little longer than expected because I banged multiple times in between. I forgot to use a vintage scroll boost before, yada yada yada. But we got it all now. Uh, not the only uh, weeklies we completed. We got a bunch of price tickets to claim, donator boxes. Just put the rest in the bank. Start with some donator end boxes. Anything juicy? No. Honestly, that's pretty horrendous. How much is that? 18? Yeah, that's 18. Goddamn, that's a lot of price tickets. A little M chest, one prize key. The boxes themselves are once again just not great. It's rough, man. Give me something nice. Oh, there we go. Epic pet box. Lovely, lovely. And I do enjoy the M shards we get from all of this. One more. Two more boxes. Just use a prize key on the chest. Why not? Boom. Crest legs. Uh, epic pet box. Boom. Kitty fairy pet. And another one. Blood Rift Scrolls, not bad. Just opening it all because I'm lazy, honestly. Um, yeah, all things considered, not bad. And we have a bunch of pawns we can sell, a bunch of vintage tokens we can use again. Did the shop reset? No, it has not reset yet. Oh, but we are gonna be slightly off. I mean, shit, we'll just buy a five with it, fuck it. It's a good amount of money from that. Oh, a lucky inventory of goodie bags. One inventory for four spellcasters. Quite a few of these. Now, we have 10 spellcasters in the bank. That's another couple hundred bill right there. Oh, a couple hundred. It's a good amount of money. Um, some boat tickets. 4.7 trillion cash at the moment. Two grand gift boxes. Open those up. Nah, nothing good from that though. Yeah.